This is question 31. In this question, light with an average flux of 20 watt per centimeter square falls on an absorbing surface at a normal incidence having surface area 20 centimeter square. The momentum received by the surface during a time span of 1 second is, and there are 4 options, 12 into 10 to the power 3 newton seconds, 24 into 10 to the power 3 newton seconds, 48 into 10 to the power 3 newton seconds or 1.33 micro newton per seconds. Dear students, the momentum per second will be equal to the force applied by the electromagnetic wave on the absorbing surface. The force can be calculated using the formula that is equal to I A by C, where I is the intensity, A is the area and C is the speed of light. Here I is given to be equal to 20 watt per centimeter square multiplying by area which is 20 centimeter square and if we divide by the speed of light that is 3 into 10 raised to power 8 meter per second. The final answer turns out to be equal to 1.33 into 10 raised to power minus 6 newton seconds and hence for this question the correct answer is option number D. Now let us proceed to the next question. In this question which is question number 32, the question says the ray is incident at an angle I on one surface of a prism with angle of prism A equal to 90 degree and emerges parallel to the opposite surface. If the refractive index of the material of the prism is 2 by root 3, then the angle of incidence is. There are 4 options, 15 degree, 30 degree, 45 degree or sin inverse 1 by root 3. Dear students, the refractive index of the material is given as to be equal to 2 by root 3. We can start by finding out the critical angle for this refractive index. The critical angle IC can be written as sin inverse 1 by mu that will be sin inverse root 3 by 2 and this will be equal to 60 degree. So, 60 degree is the critical angle for this particular configuration. Now, since the ray is emerging parallel to the opposite surface, we can write down that R2 should be equal to this critical angle therefore, R2 is equal to 60 degree. For a prism, we also know that R1 plus R2 is equal to A that means R1 will be equal to A minus R2 and that will be equal to 90 minus 60 that is 30 degree. Now, dear students, we from this Nernst law we can write down that sin i is equal to mu sin r and this will be equal to 2 by root 3 into sin of 30 and that will be equal to 1 by root 3 meaning that i will be equal to sin inverse of 1 by root 3 and hence for this question the correct answer is option D. Now, let us proceed to the next question which is question number 33. The question says a 40 milli Henry inductor is connected to a 200 volt 50 hertz AC supply. The RMS value of the current in the circuit is nearly and the options are 2.05 ampere, 16 ampere, 25.1 ampere and 1.7 ampere. Now, dear students, we can start by writing down the inductive reactance. Inductive reactance is equal to omega into L, where omega is the angular frequency, L is the inductive reactance. Omega will be 2 pi into frequency that is 50 and L here will be 40 into 10 raised to power minus 3 Henry. We can keep it aside. Now, the RMS value of the current, dear students, will be equal to the VRMS that is RMS value of voltage divided by XL. So, this will be equal to 200 divided by 2 pi into 50 into 40 into 10 raised to power minus 3. Substituting the value of pi as 22 by 7, we get a value of I RMS to be equal to 16 amperes and hence for this question the correct answer is option B. Now, let us proceed to the next question. This is question 34. The question says that the dimensions of strain are the four options are ML2 T minus 2, M0 L0 T0, ML minus 1 T minus 1 or the fourth option which says ML T minus 2. Dear students, strain is defined as the fractional change in the dimension. For example, the longitudinal strain is equal to the change in length by the actual length and if we write down the dimensions on the both sides that is LHS and RHS, 
this will be the ratio of the dimensions L is to L. Therefore, the final answer will be dimension less and the dimensions can be written as M0, L0, T0. Therefore, for this question the correct answer is option B. Moving on to the next question, this question is question 35. The question says the Brewster angle IP for an interface dividing mediums of refractive index mu is equal to 1 and mu is equal to root 3 should be. The light is incident from a rarer to denser medium. So, 4 options are 15 degree, 45 degree, 30 degree and 60 degree. Let us proceed to the solution. The students as per the Brewster's law, the Brewster angle if it is IB, so tan IB is equal to mu. Please remember that the Brewster angle is the angle at which the reflected light is polarized, however the transmitted light is not polarized. It is also to be noted that the reflected light and the transmitted light are at an angle of 90 degree with each other. Now furthermore we can write down that IB will be equal to tan inverse mu which can be written as tan inverse root 3. Now tan inverse root 3 has a value of 60 degree. So for this question the answer is option D that is 60 degree. Moving on to the next question. 